channel where I solve physics problems. Today's problem is about the strength of a magnetic field created by different magnetic sources. Problem 1 says write the formula for calculating the magnetic field strength. This is how strong is a magnetic field at, at a particular point. We have four different cases. The first one says due to long straight current carry wire. If I have a wire, let's say this is a, this is a wire and this wire carries a current. It is long, it is straight and it carries current. If I want to know, let's say the current flows in this direction and I want to know the magnetic field at a particular point away from uh, the, the wire, at a distance from the wire. What is the formula should I use to get that? Then B says at the center of a loop of wire. Let's say this is a wire. If I have a close path like this, like this, this one is a loop. This is a loop of a wire. It's a close path where current flows. Now if current flows through this close path, the question is at the center, what will be the, the, the strength of the field? How strong is the field at, at the center? What formula do we use to calculate the magnitude of the strength of the magnetic field at the center when the current uh, passes through the loop? One loop. C said at the center of loops of wire, plural, it means now I do not have just one loop, a single loop. I have several loops, something like this. This is one, this is two, uh, this is three, and this is four. So if I have this one, four loops of wire, or five, or six, whatever number you have here, now at the center here, okay, at the center of this loop, Okay, what will be the formula to be used in order to calculate the magnetic field strength at the center of uh, loops of wire? D says at the center of a solenoid. For a solenoid, let's say I have something like this and I wind this wire around it round it here from this end to this end and they are stuck together at this distance from here to here and there is a hollow part inside now magnetic field is created inside that hollow region the question is at the center of that region what will be the formula uh, to be used uh, in order to calculate this the magnetic field strength at that particular center that is what this D is all about. At the center of a solenoid of length L. We are going to solve one by one, inshallah. Okay, let's start solving. For A, for A we have a long wire carrying current. Let's say this is my wire. And it carries a um, current, the current flows in this direction. And we know that because the current is flowing through it, it creates magnetic field around the wire. This is the wire, current flows through it. Around this wire, there is a magnetic field created by the flowing current. So if I want to get the magnetic field strength, this, the strength of that magnet at a point away from the wire, let's say at a point somewhere here, uh, let me call that point, point P, how do I know the strength here? How do I calculate the strength here? What formula should I use? Okay, you should know, it will interest you to know that I can draw a circle here, round here, I can draw a circle like this for which the wire here 
is the same is at the center of that circle. So if the wire is at the center of the circle, the distance from the center here to where my P is is the radius of the circle. I need this radius in my calculation. So magnetic field at this P B is given as mu naught i divided by 2 pi r where where this b is magnetic magnetic field strength okay and magnetic field strength is measured in tesla abbreviated capital t and then uh, the mu naught we have there is a constant called permeability permeability constant and this permeability constant is always 1.26 times 10 to the power of minus 6 in tesla meter per ampere then i the i we see here is the magnitude of the current flowing through the wire this i so so we say this one is current flowing through the wire and we know that current is measured in ampere what next? 2 pi they are all constant then r is the distance of point p from the uh, from the wire, we can see clearly that this r is the distance of point P from the wire. So it means if I know the current flowing and I know this distance, okay, I will only have to put the values here, substitute the values in this formula, and I will get my answer for A. That's it for A. Let's go to B. Okay, for B, I have a single loop of wire. This is a wire. Uh, for example, if this one is the wire and uh, this is my loop, what will be the magnetic field at the center if current is flowing through this loop, whether in this direction or in the reverse direction? So if I have a single loop, I have a single loop of wire at the center, what will be the magnetic field at this center? So I will take uh, the distance from here to here. I will know is the radius of the circle. Okay, magnetic field at the center B is given as mu naught i divided by. Okay, instead of two pi r, it becomes two r. You see that B, the magnetic field, is equal to mu naught i to r b is the magnetic field strength as we mentioned earlier uh, mu naught permeability constant i is the magnitude of the current flowing through uh, let's say the current is flowing this way okay the current flows through here so the magnitude of this steady current is i then to r r is the distance from the loop to the center which is clearly the radius now what is interesting is that if uh, because these two r is the diameter if i draw a line from here to here is also r and r plus r is 2 r this gives diameter this gives uh, the diameter from here to here so i will just say this is also equal to mu naught i divided by loops loops diameter loops diameter if I know the loops diameter I don't have to use uh, the 2R because 2R is identical to the loops diameter okay that's for B this is the formula for B and um, what about C C I'm going to just check, uh, put C here for C you don't have a single loop you have several loops for C you have several loops let's say uh, this like this one is one loop 
then I turn it again. You see, I have two loops. I have uh, two loops. Then I turn it again. I have uh, three loops. Can I have up to four loops? Let's say I have four loops here. Good. I have four loops here. Now, at the center, what will be the fill at the center? When you have several loops instead of one. Okay. The only difference is that um, uh, for a single loop, we said B is equal to mu naught I divided by 2R. So what if I have another loop here? Okay, and, and still I have another one here. I have several loops here. Okay, so I will multiply this formula, same as a single loop, by N, where N is the number of loops. Okay, so my formula becomes B equals mu naught N I divided by 2R. You see, the only difference is that I introduce N here. So if N is 1, it will reduce to this one and you have uh, 1 loop. If it is 2, you multiply by 2. So this is the formula for calculating magnetic field at, at the center of uh, loops of wire. D. Okay, for this D, for D you have a solenoid. For D, a solenoid. Okay, this is what is happening. You have uh, a solenoid. Great. You have wire uh, wound around this. Okay, this one is filled with wire all, all around it, all around it. From here to here gives you uh, the length, capital L. Okay, you have wire one round here with several windings and stuck together. The length of the wire is greater than the uh, radius of the circle you have there are the radius of the circle because this is a circular so you have a circular cross section the radius of that uh, cross section is smaller compared to the length the length is greater okay we call this solenoid solenoid okay how do we get the the, the field at the center of the solenoid Pretty simple again. You said B is equal to mu naught I. Uh, sorry, sorry. You have diff uh, so many windings here, so you have to put N for the number of turns. Now, if, if, if it is 100 turns, then N is 100. Then I, I is the magnitude of current flowing. You have I magnitude of current flowing divided by there is no two r now you only divide by l okay this is the formula we use to calculate uh, uh, the magnetic field at the center of the solenoid so we now say where where or oh, we have explained this one already we explained this one okay our n n is number of turns number of turns and then l is length of solenoid is the length of the solenoid so this is the formula now let us summarize everything for a b and c all together let me summarize everything for you for a b and c for a you have a straight wire carrying a uh, current, so your magnetic field is mu naught i divided by 2 pi r. That's for A. For B, B says you have uh, a single loop, just one loop. So the magnetic field is equal to mu naught i divided by uh, 2 r. Now, C says. What if you have several loops? You only add n here. 
So you have B is equal to mu naught Ni divided by 2R. Now what if you have a solenoid? What if you have um, a solenoid for the, that's D? It becomes B is equal to mu naught Ni, same as this one, divided by, instead of 2R, you have L, length of the solenoid. These are the four formulae that we are expected to memorize uh, uh, in this category. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.